Hey everyone. Today I am recreating a look that I post I posted several looks on Facebook and today I'm recreating one and I'm going to recreate another one um, Friday. I need to talk well first of all let me talk about where I'm at. I'm not in my natural lighting because it is storming where I live in Louisiana right now so I have no natural lighting. Um, moved a couple of different places in my house. This is kind of the closest I could get. Um, so enough about that. I apologize for the quality and the lighting and all of that stuff. Number two, I'm going to show you a picture of what I'm going to recreate. And then we're going to talk about some things. First of all, this is the look we're recreating. Okay, let's talk about two things. Number one, she has on the most voluminous, long, gorgeous false lashes I've ever seen. Let me show you again. Right, I'm recreating everything with unique products. That's not going to look as thick. Uh, I will use like two or three coats or whatever to get a little drama. What? Number two, she is gorgeous that's not gonna look the same when i transfer it to me she's gorgeous so i'm recreating the look but it's gonna look different for two reasons one i don't look like her two i'm not wearing false lashes all right um i'm always honest about using things that are not unique so i'm going and it looks very simple but i'm going to show you i always use the same things that are not unique right now uh, we don't have a cream concealer yet. It's the concealer I'm using. I always use a paint pod to prime my lips. I mean, my eyes. Oh, who would put that on their lips? And I do use a lip primer. That's where I was going with that. Those are the only three things that are not unique. I'm trying not to talk too much at the beginning because I tend to turn 15 minute looks into 45 minute videos because I like to talk. Um, Y'all have told me, please don't do voiceovers. We don't mind watching 45 minutes. We love that it is real. It is uncut. There are no lights. I'm a normal person, just like y'all. Um, uh, one thing that's changed since my last video, I'm now a green status presenter. Uh, yeah. So I have changed a little bit, status-wise. All right, let's roll. First thing I do is I apply our toner. My spritzer broke, so I'm going to spritz it in my hand, and I'm going to rub it on my face. My face is bare. It has been washed um, bare. So I put a little bit in my hand, and then I just kind of... My face is going to look red for a second. That's because I pushed a little too hard. Okay? Toner is amazing for sunburns, for rosacea, for eczema, for redness, for pimples, for anything, for oily skin, you, you gotta have it. Next, I'm gonna use our moisturizer. I'm gonna hope for one video, first video ever. I'm gonna hope that I didn't forget something and have to get up. That's probably not the case, because it's never the case. But let's hope. One of these days, I'm gonna get it together, y'all. One of these days, probably not. Oh, hear that? I need to go ahead and tell y'all, my phone's probably going to go off like crazy. It has been all day. I've already charged twice. Today is my husband and my anniversary. Posted it to Facebook. Woo! It hasn't stopped all day, which um, I love it. I, I mean, we're blessed to have amazing friends and family who want to congratulate us and post memories. So if my phone goes off three or four times, six, seven, eight times, sorry. Now we're going with the primer. Uh, I'm going to show you. You see how little? That, I mean, I'm going to use about that much three times. Like once, once, and then the third one's going to cover all the middle. The more you rub it, the more it melts into your skin. 
Oh, I'm going to take this little ring off. Okay, second amount. I should have shown you how much moisturizer I use, but bait is the same or less. Doesn't take much. These products will last y'all forever. If you haven't tried any of our products, do you hear what my voice just did there? Got real high. If you have not tried any of our products, don't be scared. Um, you have several ways. One, you could um, purchase them. And if you don't like it, we offer a 14 day, 100%, no questions asked, money back guarantee. Or, if you want to try and get them for free, let's host you an online or an in-home party. In-home if you live around here, because people love to play with the makeup. But if you don't live close to where I live, let's get you an online party set up. I have people who have earned, I, I'm not allowed to say, a ton. A ton, a ton, a ton of free makeup. Okay. <sighs> Time to roll. Now I'm going to go ahead and go with my under eye concealer. And I'm going to make faces. I always do. I used to use a MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. Then I'm a YouTube fanatic and I really don't remember who. Somebody that I watched was doing kind of like a drugstore um, favorites, comparison, I don't know, something. And they spotlighted this uh, concealer. Never again will I use that. This is a drugstore concealer. Goes on cream. Um, you can use the edge, the pointy part of our beauty bud. But for this part, I do like to use my fingers. I really don't have dark circles. I guess I was raised wearing concealer. Maybe is why. I really don't know why I use it. I was just, I don't know. We're just going to roll with it. I always do. Lightens up the area. Makes it pretty. Let me show you again. It's wearing off. Revlon <laughs> age defying. I'm pretty sure there might only be one color. So that's my under eye area. Now we're gonna roll with the paint pod. This one's painterly. You know what? Oh yeah, I don't know if I did or not. If I did not swipe my eyes with my primer, I do. I tend to do things a little crazy when I'm recording and talking because my mind goes in every direction and I forget things. If I did not apply primer to my lids, scratch that and do it. Now, go do it. If you copy my video right now, go do it. Okay, she doesn't have, if well, if she does have eyeshadow on, you can't see it because it's covered up by them false lashes. So we're not gonna apply any shadow. I'm just gonna take some of my powder. Um, I tend to wear chiffon and satin interchangeably, right? Uh, but a light color that I use when I'm contouring is velour. And because I do use all of my personal things, you're going to notice 90% of what I own is broken or shattered Welcome to my world. So, <laughs> I'm just going to get a little bit of that on, a, on a, a unique brush that I have, our blush brush. And I'm just going to use that. Just to go over that paint pod. Um, you don't have a paint pod? No problem. Use your concealer. Whatever concealer you use on your under eye area, put that on your upper eye area. On your lid. Whatever. I don't know why I say the things I say. Okay, that's it for our eyes. We're gonna go ahead and go to foundation. I apply my mascara to um let's do our mascara first. Why is I never have this planned out? Um what do I want to do first? Yeah, 
Let's do foundation. Okay, I'm gonna use our Beauty Blender. I have not done an updated routine. I used to use a thick flat top brush. This was one of the few things I used that was not unique. But since they came, I called it a Beauty Blender. That's a habit. Ours are called Blending Buds. I will do an updated foundation routine this week to show those of you who don't know how to use it, how to use it. This is a tool that is a godsend. What you have to do is you have to wet it. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm sitting by my sink. You wet it, you squeeze it out. And I didn't grab a towel. How did I know I was gonna forget something? Okay. Oh, you see my shirt? It says, on fleek. Maryland on fleek. All right, it's a little bit wet. Now we're gonna go with the foundation. I'm using the cream foundation. I'm using chiffon. Okay, quarter. Oh, it's not broken. Okay, you can see what it looks like. I'm not using this. I'm going to use the beauty blender. No, the blending bud. Sorry. Okay. When you're using a blending bud, I just kind of get over it, and then you just dab. Um, the blending bud really helps with getting it as thin or as thick as you want. This is not a great mirror, so I'm gonna kinda double check myself right here because of the lighting. Actually, I'm gonna use this mirror to where y'all can see. Um, but you can really control the coverage that you get. You can really apply more or less as needed. And you're just kinda pouncing in certain areas, maybe rolling when you do it. Okay. I did try and pull my hair out of my face to where it was. Y'all could see a little bit. I'm sorry I'm not looking at you. The lighting in here is so bad, I can see better. I'm gonna look at you for everything else. But for my foundation, I just wanna make sure I'm not missing anything. If I start to ramble, it's because I'm talking while I'm doing my makeup and I'm not really focusing on what I'm talking about. <laughs> Sorry if that happens. I don't realize I'm doing it till I'm watching my playbacks. And as I've talked about, everything I upload is unedited, uncut um there's no cameras sitting around recording off of my ipad sometimes i record off of my phone i never record off of a good camera i don't set up lighting okay now we're going to go with powder a lot of people will use a powder puff brush i like to use i like Where's, <laughs> where's my powder? I like to use the um, pad that comes with it. Well, sorry, one minute. Okay, I was gonna use my satin powder, but I can't find it. So I'm gonna use my chiffon powder. I'm really closer probably to a satin, but I'm gonna apply I'm gonna apply the um, chiffon and I'll just darken up with bronzer, okay? Really set that under eye concealer.
I'll do a little bit of highlighting and contouring because she has a ton of, of highlighting and contouring going on that picture. So I'll do a little bit. Like I said, this look that I'm recreating is not going to look identical to hers. First, oh, and if your foundation doesn't match, mine does. You can work it down your, do work it down your neck if it doesn't match. Same thing with your powder. If you end up working it down your neck, just go ahead and go over it. Speck of glitter. Where in the world did the glitter come from? Must have been on my makeup from a home party, maybe. Okay, now let's do a little bit of highlighting and a little bit of contouring. I'm highlighting with Velour. It's shattered, so I'm just going to show you. It is our, a pressed powder, and it is a, a couple shades lighter than me. And I'm getting it everywhere. And I'm just applying that this area right here see the difference very subtle but it's obviously lighter right go to the other side i'll come back and touch this up the purpose of highlighting and contouring you're wanting to darken here because you want to bring light to these areas okay this part of your face you want lighter you're trying to draw attention, I should say. Okay, that's all I'm gonna do with the lighting for right now. Contouring, I'm using our bronzer. I have every color. This one is Malibu. I can't use very much of it. It's the darkest shade and it can get a little dark. And like I said, I don't contour a lot. Um, I have to use very little of it. I should use Sunset or Hermosa. There's my, um, oh, my iPad. There's the powder I was just looking for. I'm going to use this again, even though y'all can see. And I'm just going to, I've done a contouring video. I'm just going to hit those areas. My cheekbone is here, so I'm barely hitting up under it. We'll go back with a tiny bit of blush. Once you hit your main area like this, and you work it a little bit, do a little, do a couple little circles. Try and get those harsh lines out. Contouring should not be noticeable, people. Oh my goodness! You can tell some people use the cream sticks, and they're like, "Merp, I'm done." No, you're not done. I'm trying to stay out of the middle of my face. I mean, this is doing very little. Definitely not gonna do like her in the picture because like I said, it's our anniversary. I just ripped my earring out. And even though this is going to be a simple look, it's gonna be a pretty look and I'm gonna wear it tonight out to eat. Touch up just a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna take a little bit. I say okay a lot. I think I've talked about that in several of my, this is our blush. This is sweet, my favorite color ever. Very, okay, contoured here, we're going right on top of it. Barely on top of it, because you don't want to get into your highlighting. I've also talked about in my highlighting and contouring video, I don't use a highlight with a shimmer. That's why I choose to use one of our powders. Don't like shimmer on my face. I don't use anything with shimmer except a shadow sometimes. All right, let's go to our eyes. 
Um, she doesn't, I don't know if she has eyeliner on her top or not because you can see nothing but lashes. What I am going to do is I'm going to hit my inside, um, my upper waterline, I guess you could say. It's called tight lining. So I'm not really lining, but I am going to, right on the inside, I'm going to draw attention to the base of my lashes. This is very subtle. No one will notice it, but it will make a difference on your lash line. I'll show you the difference in just a second. Okay, do you see, okay? Okay, see the difference? A Little bit darker. It's not on my lid. It's in my lash line. I also open my mouth a lot. You don't realize the faces you make when you do your makeup until you watch yourself back on camera. I've uploaded several videos where I have been mortified at some of the things I've done. This is called Perfect. This is just our black liner, unique, perfect. <sighs> mascara. Two ways. You can use your favorite mascara up under it, or you can just use the transplanting gel as your mascara. I'm going to use the transplanting gel as a mascara. I'm not going to go use another brand which it tells you on the directions you can. Remember, I've done a video. We're not pumping. We don't want to push air down in there. We are losing light and I'm getting pixelated. Let me check something. It's a little bright. I'm gonna hope, hope this isn't too bad. Okay, ready? We're gonna roll it around, roll it around. The secret to this is small coats. You do not want to use thick coats. If you use thick coats, that is when you get clumpy lashes. I am missing some eyelashes. Have been for quite some time now. They're starting to grow back in. They're just really short from wearing false lashes. And because this look is centered around the mascara, well, centered around her false lashes, for our look centered around our mascara, let me get my lash comb. I cannot get that out. Um, I'm going to spend a little more time than I normally would on my lashes because I need to be on point. Normally, I would have already had this side knocked out and probably the other side. There we go. Oh, it's getting dark, y'all. I might have to cut on that light and just apologize for the quality. Because it is getting, I mean, I don't know how it's going to be when I upload it. But when I look at my screen, I see about 25,000 dots. I don't see me. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see. I'm going to cut on that. Back to what I was saying. I don't know if I finished it or not because I was rambling. Uh, back when I was wearing false lashes, I had two oopsies. I uh, actually pulled some of my lashes out when I was taking some false lashes off. Then another one, they were too long and I was trying to trim them up. When I took them off, 
I realized I had snipped my real lashes off. Cried. I cried. Okay, I'm gonna go to my bottom lashes while those have a, take a second. <laughs> that face. Other side. Trying to keep my mirror to the side. It's really hard to look into that iPad. I mean, I can't really see my bottom lashes or, 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 my bottom lashes or. My bottom lashes are so fine that I can't see them from this far away. Okay, swirling again. We're going back to the top. Now we're going to go to uh, transplanting gel, fibers, transplanting gel, collagen, transplanting gel, green tea, fibers, fibers. Both are open. What did I say the secret was? Small coats. Okay. Uh, you do not want to start at the base of your lashes. You really want to go from the middle up. I'm even going to go on the back just a little bit. The secret to your fibers not falling off. What am I at? I'm at 25 minutes. The secret to your fibers not falling off is having enough transplanting gel, transplanting gel applied before and after. They have to have something to stick to. And they have to, I don't have any little fuzzies hanging off. And I just kind of wiggle them in there. Kind of roll your wand around. Now, this is not a new tube of transplanting gel or fibers. This is probably two months old, maybe getting close to three. So I'm getting towards the bottom. So, I mean, wait, can we take a minute? A moment of silence for these lashes. So, um, your results will be even better, obviously, the newer the tube. Okay. Now, one coat. You watched it, beginning to end. Look at the difference. I get you some. Better get right before you get left. I don't know why I say that all the time. Other side, we work in from the middle out. You don't need fibers all the way at the base of your lashes. You can, but you don't have to. Okay, I'm gonna go to the back of my lashes again. Now I'm gonna push them back up. Now we're gonna go to the fibers. Uh-oh, got a little speck on me. I'm gonna let it dry before I get it off because it's the transplanting gel and it's going to smudge. Same thing with your fibers. Just like you don't want a lot of transplanting gel, you also don't want a lot of fibers. You do not want thick coats of either. That is what causes clumping. One, I mean, you just saw what one coat did. 90% of my life, I would never ever do more than this on a weekday. For this look, and because we are going out to eat tonight, I'll do, oh, I'm getting some, need to get some of these fuzzies off. I will do two, who knows? What if we go crazy and do three? But you would normally not need that. I'm sorry if I keep covering it up.
Oh my gosh, y'all. I have hit myself again. I mean, I've just... We're gonna go for coat number two. You see where I snipped some of them off? I mean, I have like a gap. At the very end, I'm gonna get a Q-tip. I'm gonna get this off. At the very end, um, I'll fix just those few that are missing. Okay, I'm going to take, I got 90% of it off, but I'm still going to take this little brush, or crease shadow brush, and I'm going to try and hide what tiny bit I didn't get off. Yeah, there we go. Might as well touch up the other side. Okay, coat number two, here we go. Roll, make sure there's not too much on. Here we go. Fibers. Just wanna make sure you don't have any hanging off. I love doing real-time videos. I've started doing them on my Facebook also because people think um, people think that we use like image editing and um, I don't know. They think our results aren't real. There's no denying when this video is however many however many minutes long. I never paused, I never stopped, I never... Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The last thing we have to do is our lips. We have a hot pink liner that's very similar. Okay, I used this second coat not for length. I used it more for volume. You can use this mascara for either or or both. Oh my gosh, y'all, stop it. I've been wearing Unique for probably eight months now. And maybe longer. I think I've been selling for seven or eight. And I am still amazed at this mascara. If you have a tube that you can tell you have some in it, but it's you're just not getting the results anymore, you might have left it open or done several things that can cause it to be dry. There's several ways to fix that. You can fix that by putting a little bit of solution, like eye solution, and I mean a little bit, not a lot. A little bit of solution in, or you can just soak it in hot water, and that'll break it back up and get it going again. Okay, now I'm going back with my transplant gel and we're done. You could obviously do it again and again and again and make it look like hers. Gosh, I'm just praying that we don't lose electricity while I'm still recording this because it is so bad outside. I don't know if y'all can hear it thundering, see the lightning. We have gotten so much rain in Louisiana and Texas and all of these southern states. We are flooding. I live on a lake. 
And at one point, about two weeks ago, the lake was seriously six feet from our back porch in bedroom, master bedroom. Yep, see, I can't do anything in that iPad. I had some that were sticking together. Okay. These are not false lashes. These are my lashes. Now, like I said, I have two or three, you can see through here that I snipped. I'm just going to touch them up real fast. I'm not doing anywhere else other than these few. So instead of having my brush long, I have it straight up because I'm going to get them as long as the rest of them. Just so I don't look so snipped. There we go. That fast, what? Look at him. That fast and I fixed several that are now the same length as the rest. These are gorgeous. I'm going to super, super fast get the bottom lashes again. If I wasn't talking and if I was just rolling through this, this look would probably take, including doing two coats of mascara, probably 15 minutes. And I'm sitting at 36. Even though I'm rolling the whole time, I'm talking and it's slowing me down. Okay, I have chapstick on my lips. I'm going to wipe it off. Like I've said in numerous videos, I do keep chapstick on my lips the whole time. I have really, really dry lips. Going with my primer. I don't know if y'all can hear my music. Okay. If y'all can't hear my music, can y'all guess what song's playing? If so, write it in the comments. If I'm going to play this back, and if I can't hear the music, but you guess what's playing, I'll send you a free eyeshadow. One free eye, one free pigment or four samples. It'll be up to you. You can probably hear it, so that'll avoid it, but if you can't, I'm also not over my li over lining my lips. Um, please be careful with that. I mean, every now and then it's like, hey, you know I see your real lips, right? <laughs> um, you can get carried away, and it cannot look natural. It's just like contouring. It should not look. Like you overdrew your lips by a centimeter. Now, don't think because I'm not using a lipstick, because I'm using a liner, that this isn't going to stay all day long. I've done, um, posted before, I took, put my liner on. I drank my morning shake. A couple hours later, I had my mid-morning snack. I eat a lot throughout the day. Then I have my lunch. Then I have my afternoon snack. It ended up being like four meals. And it did not went anywhere. This color is gorgeous. It is perky. Me. It's a hot pink. It's gorgeous. 
Okay, now the only thing that's left is to touch up. I can see I didn't do very much through here since it was so, so dark. I couldn't tell. I am going to go through and touch up my blush uh, and my beachfront bronzer again. Now, this is not dark, dark like a some contouring this is more of a natural like i stated all right i'm gonna hit that blush one more time this look is gonna be complete Okay, I'm gonna kind of dust off my brush and lightly blend these together. Okay. I mean, how many times have I said okay? 16? More? I don't know. Let me grab her picture. Remember, I don't look like her. She's gorgeous. Two things, we said I um, obviously don't look like her, and then uh, I did not contour and highlight as much as her. But, oh, three things, and we didn't use false lashes. But this look, I'm going to move it real fast so you can see, recreated more of a natural, gorgeous, it is so dark in here, y'all. Um, uh, my, and it's not as bright as my phone is, which is why you can't see how similar it is. Through here is lightened, around here is darkened. Not like hers. The lip is identical. And then, let's see. If I can get it to come up. I'm going to see if it'll focus and then compare. There's her lashes. And then here's, I don't know how to look, Uniques. Of course it's not as thick and of course it's not as full, but these are real lashes. These are gorgeous. I mean, look at them. Look at my eyebrows. They're touching my eyebrows. Look, more glitter, y'all. Oh my gosh. Good. Um, this is better lighting. You can see I'm going to stop talking for a second. This look is beautiful. It took like, I don't know, a couple, a couple, um, couple items knocked out and literally, if I wasn't talking, literally 15 minutes. Um, that's it. That's one of the looks. I have another one that I'm going to do. I don't know if my phone will show. I'm really excited to do this look. Let's see if I can get it to show. It's a smoky eye. But it has some red in it. I can not wait Friday to do that. Out of my comfort zone uh, for myself. Because whatever I do on these videos, I obviously wear out. Um, that is way more bold than I usually go. This is my comfort zone as far as leaving my house. Um, I don't mind creating the look and recording a video. But when I walk out of the house with a bold look, I feel like everybody's like, whoa. Because they're not used to seeing me with it. And my friends are like... Kobe, whoo, you have on makeup, the life of a coach. Um, I would love to help any of you with any questions you might have. I will link below my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I am doing a Snapchat giveaway. Um, I'll link my Snapchat below to, well, probably in just a couple minutes. I'll post the requirements. I'm giving away a free product tomorrow of your choice, whatever product, but you're going to have to follow me on Snapchat to know the qualifications. Um, 
like this look, let's recreate it. Have another look that you want recreated using unique products, let me know. Want to buy all these products? I'll put my link below. Want to get them all for free? Let's host you a party. Want to get $225 worth of makeup for $99? Let's sign you up. I try and... Uh, I train my team basically daily, but I try and train three girls a month. Um, you're not going to sign up and never hear from me. You will hear from me every day. You'll be trained. This video is too long. I'm done talking. Uh, thank you guys. I know it's been forever. It's been well over a month, but I'm back. I'm back. It's summertime. I have a little more free time. Let me know what you want to see. Uh, people have, a couple people have asked for an about me. Um... I'll do it. I'll do whatever you want. I know I didn't really figure people wanted to know much about me, but I will film a, an about me. Look for that Friday. Add me on Snapchat. I'm going to stop talking and stop recording.